Heading 90 kilometers northwest of Doha, we've arrived at our destination in Zekrete. This sparsely populated area was developed as the first harbor in Qatar for oil equipment and eventually grew into a village. Couple of notable sites in Zekrete. 1. The Zekrete Fort. 2. The Film City. 3. Richard Serra's metal sculpture in the middle of the desert. 4. Umbrella Rocks. And 5. The Oryx, which is Qatar's national animal. Richard Serra has made his mark in Qatar with his East-West-West-East metallic sculpture. These plates were shipped from Germany and craned into the middle of Western Qatari desert. So, the first two metal plates are actually 15 feet tall, while the last two are 18 feet tall. Why are they different in sizes? Because the land on the last, the land where the last two plates are standing is actually higher than the land on the first two plates. So they're trying to make it all the same size by increasing the height of the last two plates. He's also created another piece in Qatar called the Seven Sculpture. Now, if you haven't checked out my video on that, you can click at the link at the top of this video or at the description box below to watch. We've arrived at Zekrit Village and behind me is an old fort. Um, it's now ruined. It's an old ruined fort. Over here, it's, everything is sea coral. Sea corals. Oh, yes. they're okay. I see, I see. Built in the 18th century, the Zakrit Fort is said to have been built by a pirate ruler of Qatar. Unbelievable how it's made out of sea corals. The Film City. This is considered as Qatar's very own Hollywood as it was initially constructed for an Arabic TV series, Iyal al Thib or The Son of Wolves. It has also been featured in other films, but no information was really given as to which ones. Its architecture mimics a traditional Arabic town with mud brick houses, wooden doors, and a mosque. This little kind of town or village also used for filming lots of movies. See those little blocks right there? The team would the production team would sit in there overnight and lit up fire so that they could create a sort of Arabic kind of feel and they would shoot films there overnight. UNESCO Biosphere Reserve takes special interest in the oryx, which are close to extinction because of their prized horns. Look at that! They're only to be saved through a captive breeding program and reintroduction into the wild. They live in herds of up to 600 animals and can survive for long periods without any water. finished off our dry and blistering day indulging in Indian food. Indian food! There are loads of Indian restaurants in Doha and this one right here is Saravana Bhavan. Okay, and we're now going to have... <laughs> Dhavan what? We're now going to have Dahi Vara, which is yogurt. And bara is the bread that you see at the top. It's fried bread. And there's some carrots as well. Okay. Interesting taste. So there's cheese inside the bread, eaten with lentil soup. Coconut sauce, sweet sauce, and chili sauce. 
This is really good. It's like a little bit spicy inside, and the soup is also a little bit spicy, and it just goes together really well. So this is a Chinese Indian fusion, so it's gravy with mushroom, mushroom manchurian.